everybody, it's Miss Love and I'm back to help you with your exciting writing. But first, let's practice our spellings. Day, away, play, way, nay, say, today, eat. C, T, each, please, and cried. Practice writing them every day and then test yourself to see how many you get right on Friday. So this week's exciting writing is to write a story again, but we've got a different picture. Let's have a look. First thing I want you to think about is where is the picture? Is it on land? Is it in space? What do you think? Can you see anything in the picture? Are there any animals? And what type of building do you think that is? Okay, so let's think about what you can see. I could see some fish. I could see that building, which I think might be a castle. I could see the sand on the floor. There was a bridge that was going near the castle. And some of those fish remind me of Nemo, so they must be clownfish. And then there were some others. I wonder if you could think of what those were called. Pause the video here and talk to an adult about your ideas of what you've seen. Okay, let's think about our characters. Who might live in the castle? Maybe a shark? Or some of those fish we saw? Or maybe some frogs, like in Miss Hull's pond? Or maybe it's something a bit more magical, like a mermaid? Or even a fairy? Or it could be... a genie. Genies have magic. Oh, a water dragon. That would be exciting. So to start off the beginning of your story, you could choose one of these three sentence starters. So you could have once upon a time, at the bottom of the sea, or a long time ago. Don't forget your high five sentences. So we need your capital letters, full stops, finger spaces, use your phonics and those extra special leading lines. See if you can use that conjunction again from last week and if you need a reminder of how to use it, check last week's video. Current help this week is spellings because when we're in year one our spellings can look a little bit different. So take the word mermaid here. The child hasn't spelt it with the correct graphemes, but they have used the correct phonemes. Both words would say mermaid, but they just haven't used the correct er uh or the correct a. Uh. We would still say this is okay and we would leave it in their writing because they've had a good go at spelling it using the phonics knowledge they have. You can, of course, still show them the correct way to write a word. Just make sure that you acknowledge that they've given it a really good try because that's the most important thing when they're writing. However, if they are spelling high frequency words, you can help them if they don't know how to spell it because the high frequency words are the ones that they can't sound out with their phonics. Just wanted to say a big, big thank you to all the mums and dads and children that are trying hard at home. Remember, you only have to do a little bit each day, not too much, and keep up the good work. Remember, when you've finished your exciting writing, put your name on it and send it to me and Miss Allen at onehomework at newbie.bradford.sch.uk. We can't wait to read your stories. Parents, you can also email us if you need help with anything and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Good luck with your writing.